Okay everybody, welcome back to Tyrion 2000 for the PC. Now I gotta say, for the first time, I actually can see a difference in power for my front shots. I upgraded it to level 8. I insist. For the first time, I do notice a difference. Yeah, the green balls are the ones that are were hurting me at first. And again, it's a bad habit that I have that I just go crazy against the boss, like brute force in the situations, and basically uh, I, I don't watch my health, and I should do that. It's hard to watch your health and, and, and dodge stuff and shoot an enemy at the same time. But as you can see, I did it pretty much in 30 seconds. So it was an incredibly good idea to actually start the, this part at the boss battle. But yeah, the level was a breeze that time. I'm telling you, it was a breeze, now with a level 8. It really was. No, I cannot upgrade it anymore. I I spent most of my money in, in, in that, in, in upgrading my, my front shot, which I do not regret. Alright, let's play a bonus, a little bit of relaxation, I guess. Let's see if, if destroying everything actually gets me a good reward. Remember these bonus areas, I think, still have enemies, but didn't have boss battles. So those gems gave you, what, 250? 250? about that laser thingy. Alright, kinda short. Uh, Alright, let's see, can I upgrade? No, I need 27,000 and I have 10,000. And I need 10,000 to increase my shield some more. Yeah, those are the two, three more important things and the rare gun still have it at I cannot upgrade anything with this amount of points or money. Ast City, of course. This level is going to be Asteroid Spam. A bomb? How can I use a bomb? I think I've been having it like right at the top from the beginning. Or not from the beginning, but at least from like halfway point episode 1. Okay, well. What's with this bomb spam thing? By the way, I tried to find out if I could quick save in this game and apparently it's not a thing. So yeah, the three most important things that you have to upgrade, in my opinion so far, are front shots, the, the shield, the generator, and I think that's it. I mean, that's the the, the, the the order. But you have to actually get something that makes you more powerful first, rather than something that gives you more defense or at least make you last a little longer. Basically, because I've noticed that it doesn't matter how long or how big your shield is, you can still die to one shot literally or in, in less than five seconds if you are constantly being hit by something. Especially massive enemies. It doesn't matter. I mean, I've noticed that it doesn't matter how much you increase your health or your shield in theory, you can still die uh, very quickly if you're not good enough at, at dodging. And good dodging is something that you cannot buy in this game. So, yeah, health is not necessarily a guarantee of survival. Like it is in, in, in a lot of other games, that the, the more you increase your speed, or the faster you increase your speed, or you upgrade it, the bigger the chances you have to survive in the game.
I'm curious, seriously. Oh, I cannot see... I cannot see the, the, the Baron config. That's a shame. Excessive amount of bombs. Wait, is there an item that you can get? Oh, that's a secret level thing. Okay. Well, secret levels count as bonus areas as well, right? They didn't have bosses either. So is this how many bones I actually been collecting, but I cannot use any? Oh, okay, with alt, you can use them. Yeah, stop wasting them. <laughs> Have to try them out in the, at the boss. This is not it. Yeah, again, I should concentrate more on, on dodging. Rather than being super aggressive all the time. Oh, okay, that was like a mid boss, that was the real boss, or maybe because I got the secret level thing, the, the levels just stops there, which is basically a very good thing. Alright, let's continue, no, let's not um, focus on anything else, mistakes, well, I make a lot of those in this game. In terms of priorities, I think I will upgrade my front shot more. The more powerful, the better. Oh shit, no, they're coming from below. I don't like that. And then, after I, I upgrade my front shot, I will go for shield. Which is the next thing I actually got recently um, upgraded, at least. I think I was giving you the choice to upgrade it more, some more. Alright, this thing cannot be destroyed apparently so easily. Isn't that ball... That ball actually is similar to the item that they gave you when I unlocked the secret level. But apparently now it was an enemy. Okay, I'm not destroying these things quickly enough. As I would like. At least one of these. No. Oh shit. No, no, no. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. So, that item that stops the warning noise appears only when you are a danger. Almost 20,000. Level completed. Wait a minute. Wasn't I able to get another shield before? I got more expensive off without a doubt, but still a good one. Yeah, I'm agreeing that. Double side shot, yes, I think it would be necessary too at some point. So Jin, again? This level? Good luck. Warning, missile ships. So do missiles actually cause more damage? Double side shot. Yeah, I think it's acceptable. Well, I said I was going to upgrade my, my front shot next, but... 
I should be constantly switching, going back and forth in terms of the upgrades. I should upgrade everything going back and forth. So next probably should be my shield before the front shot and then the front shot itself. Remember I upgraded my front shot at the beginning of this part when I was getting stuck at that level dying to the boss three times. Or at least twice. back and forth. Wait, are you expecting me to kill this thing then? Well, they do die after a good while, but they do die. That's good to know at the very least. Now with double ball. I miss those days of me having double balls. <laughs> well, I kill them faster. It seems like the, the diagonal and the extra side shot actually did the trick better than the front shot, in all honesty. Oh, now these things now are moving. Well, they were moving before, but now without a ball. So what's so special about the missile ships? They haven't been a threat so far, at the very least. See, it seems like the, the, the front shot is not doing much justice here. Oh my god, get away! Oh my... Alright, that one actually was tougher. That was not pleasant. I don't know if that actually got more health. Understand. Yeah, now, you know what? Next time I see this thing with the ball uh, going back and forth, use this thing. Might be of use. Maybe that's the reason why I killed him so fast one time. I guess these deaths are an opportunity to go get more money. Who knows? Staying in this corner is very convenient, I gotta say. Except for those things that fuck around with the ball. Now that the, the, the ball did it. I was doing a good job just at, uh, dodging the ball. Maybe I should focus more on dodging the ball rather than just shooting the guy like crazy. But forcing it, as always. That was working out in the first uh, the first encounters against those th these things coming right here. But the one time I became super aggressive, I just focusing on destroying rather than dodging the ball. That's when everything went to shits. I don't feel like shooting things all the time, but there's no other way to keep getting money, right? Again, dodge the ball and don't shoot the things, because I know I'm not gonna be able to destroy them. No, I don't get any money apparently in between uh, attempts. Not sure anymore. But yeah, dodge the balls. Unless it's mandatory to destroy the things. Then focus to that, but while dodging all the balls. 
mean, it's kind of difficult if not impossible. I mean, certainly not impossible, it's certainly difficult to dodge one thing while shooting the other thing. So yeah, I'm staying here instead of in the very right side of the screen. Yeah, don't you like that? That's good enough. That, this is what I was doing before, and it gave me good results. What's the point of just staying? Well, and they go away, see? You don't have to destroy them. Or did I destroy them and didn't realize? Also, attacking more with the diagonal shots, I think they are doing a better job than the frontal one. And this is what happens when I stay here instead of moving up. It's happened again. I mean, I barely have time to react anyway. I mean, it's not just me being... How can I say? Um, stubborn. I mean, I, I realize like the moment the ball actually touches me, that I have to go up, but it's too late. But it's not necessarily the, the intention of being aggressive all the time and kill the enemy faster. to this level is going to be brutal. They're becoming more and more brutal as we go. And I'm supposedly playing on easy difficulty. FYI. Yeah, dodge the double ball is actually kind of challenging now that I think of it. Maybe just should stay in the middle and, and let these things go away. There are more chances of me surviving this. Yeah, I didn't calculate it well. Again, no, okay. This is this is not about aggressiveness or anything. It was just. Bad luck. The opposite of what the girl just said. Dude, I would like to end this video at least with beating this level and the next one. To make some consistent progress of at least three or four stages per per video. I mean as I see the difficulty increasing like this, I'm definitely gonna I will have to make super long parts. No half an hour, but probably twice as much, or twice as long. Like I said, some sort of new policy that I started to apply. I mean, especially in blind runs like this, if I know that a certain level is too difficult for me to actually one-shot it, um, just keep on playing until you beat it, even if it takes one hour, and basically that takes the entire recording session. But I'd rather do that than... I don't know... Just recording the winning attempt after two hours of frustration and none of those two hours actually appear on YouTube later on. So yeah, the pattern with the double ball is also about memorization, I guess. Because this one you're gonna go up. It's basically waiting for the right moment. There. 
Yeah, that one, that one was tough because the, the enemy was actually moving down faster. That was really aggressive, yes. I And I didn't experience it like that the first time. Can I get these little items so it stops the noise? Oh shit, it went away. Even though I have full shield, not sure if this means that if I get touched, I, I die regardless. Alright, these guys are not going away until I kill them, apparently. So I do have to eventually become more aggressive. Oh, I skipped the, the item again. Oh, they're still there, even though... Did I destroy the balls before these two things? Apparently they are not getting damaged. Level completed. That was the end of the level, so that counted as the boss. I see. <laughs> wow. Warning! Trajectory heading intercepts. Hydroponic lab surrounding Station Griffon. The hydroponic laboratories are not as heavily guarded as may allow easy access into the station. Two routes are available through the defenses. The first is on the outer rim of the station and will allow room for ships to attack. The second is, unfortunately, heavily guarded by automatic turrets. And I don't have much money to pretty much buy anything. Yes, I'm increasing my shield. All right, let's go for Bonani A. Honestly, I don't know which one is the most heavily guarded. Yeah, not necessarily every level will have a generic boss with a health bar. So basically that part with the two sort of shields on the sides doing the, the, the arcanoid thing uh, with the balls going back and forth was basically a survival area. I mean, you could have just killed the guy or basically what he did, which is to survive for one straight minute. So yeah, I got, I, I certainly got an increase of, of my shield, as you can see. Must be like two-thirds of it. Two-thirds two of the bar. And I think I started the game with one-third of it, at least. That's good, I guess. Again, I, I once again, didn't keep the word, or didn't keep my word in terms of the order in which I, want, I wanted to do things. As I said, I wanted to get the frontal shot upgraded first, and in the end I ended up getting the, the side shot upgraded first. And then I said, yes, I will be increasing my front shot next, I ended up upgrading my shield instead. See, this diagonal shield is actually pretty good, apparently. I'm not gonna say that next I'm gonna upgrade my, my front shot because I basically you have like half of the money that I need. See now the enemies are actually tougher to kill. That's a, a very important sign of needing to upgrade. I 
have to do some dodging, but dude, I want the money! Real boss, huh? Yeah, all of these bosses behave... Dude, that was an insta-kill! That was an insta-kill, yeah, I didn't keep any of my money. Let's try the other path. At least two. These are the turrets, right? Yeah, it's a good opportunity actually to see um, how the two levels look like. I guess if I die here I will make my decision in terms of which one I like better. Or which one I think would be easier. But that boss pretty much looked like any other boss. Except he went aggressive. He went right for me, like, right at the beginning of the stage. Yeah, it looks like it's more definitely heavily guarded with the turrets. I see more bullets flying around. In general. So, wouldn't the game be this obvious? I mean, is the game that obvious? Telling you, okay, one of them is not that guarded, but the other one is heavily guarded. So basically making you choose between easy and hard. But I would love to think, hopefully that will happen, that the more heavily guarded area, which is in theory this one, I guess, will have an easier boss, or maybe no boss at all. That would be probably rewarding and worth the shots. I want to imagine. I see more bullets, but not more flying enemies. I mean, it's because basically I'm dealing with turrets only. It's not as bad as they made it sound. But I'm particularly worried about the, um, the boss. Would be better, worse. I don't know. This will be my last attempt today. Regardless of what happens, if I win or not, um, I mean, if I, I don't win, I'll do the same thing as last time. Basically, starting the episode from the boss area itself and see what happens. Actually, no, don't take too many bullets to the face. That became incredibly difficult all of a sudden. Alright, boss time. I, You know what? I think it's gonna be the same boss, yeah. But it felt like a shorter level, I gotta say. Dude, I, I'm, am I so unlucky? I, I'm gonna give it another shot because, what it be? It, it didn't last so long, but... Am I so unlucky that the boss actually goes precisely to the direction I decide to go, or does it follow me? I have to think of a way of fooling that guy. Because I'm pretty much dying in the exact same way against every new boss I encounter. And basically what just happened reinforces my theory about doesn't matter how big your shield is. If a large enemy touches you, and you cannot get away from him, you will die instantly in, in less than five seconds. I mean, I experienced that with pretty much two thirds of the shield completed. Dude, my nose itches. My hands are itching too, that's why I'm paused 
in the previous attempt. actually awesome if they allow you to keep your money after you die so basically this is a way of farming there's a shoe out that do that actually like yeah you can take as many deaths as necessary but at least you are using that as a training slash farming instance so when you get ready enough or you get well equipped enough you will end up winning still with certain skills being required of course <coughs> and now my throat itches I'll mute the mic for a second I think this was the final part before the boss, right? Yeah, when it was hit by all these goddamn bullets. This part is kind of brutal. Again, it's not a problem actually having a big shield bar or whatever and deal with ma or taking many bullets to the face, but the, the, the direct contact with the other ship is what becomes problematic. Yeah, it's like I'm afraid of staying at the bottom. Have you realized that like I end up going di diagonally up? Because I don't like to take shots like this, right? By moving to the sides. But isn't it better just staying at the bottom if you know there are not there are not gonna be enemies coming from behind? I mean I'd rather take many bullets. I think that was... I realized what my mistake was. Like, moving diagonally up or going to the middle of the screen. Basically because I was too afraid of taking bullets, when taking bullets is actually a better way to go. That's interesting. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.